What do you think of this? Five common blood tests that you don't need and the better alternatives. This comes to me from an article in Medscape today. Tell me what you think of all these. Number one, the vitamin B12 test. And the logic is that just measuring B12 doesn't actually tell us how much B12 is being able to be used by the body. Instead, ask to have your holotranscobalum levels measured. That is vitamin B12 combined with a transporter protein, and that tells us how much B12 is being uptake by the cells. You could also measure your levels of methylmalonic acid. As methylmalonic acid goes up, that is an indicator of vitamin B12 deficiency. Number two, iron. Iron levels can bounce all over the place and it doesn't actually tell us if we're deficient in iron. Instead, the article says to measure ferritin, transferritin saturation, and CRP. CRP is C-reactive protein. And that's because low ferritin plus a low ferritin saturation indicates a iron deficiency. And why CRP? Well, if you have a high ferritin level, you are storing iron, but you may not be able to use it because you have a problem with inflammation. Number three, and this is a common one, the creatinine test for kidney function, and that's because it can be impacted by muscle mass. For example, a heavily muscled bodybuilder would tend to have a higher creatinine level, and on paper that may, look, may make it look like they have kidney problems when they really don't. Instead, the article is saying to ask for the cystatin C test, which is not influenced by muscle mass, and you spell cystatin, C-Y-S-T-A-T-I-N, and the letter C. And these last two are the most controversial of all. Number four, the total testosterone test. And that's because total testosterone doesn't actually measure the amount of free testosterone that you actually have. Instead, the article is saying to ask for the free testosterone test and also the free androgen index test too. And number five, and this is the most common test of all, the total cholesterol test. And that's because it tends to give us a very broad indication of our heart health. Instead, ask for the apolipoprotein B test and the non-HDL cholesterol test, because both of those are more targeted at your actual heart health. So what do you think of all this? And if you want to read the actual article, here's the title, Doctors, Five Deceptive Lab Tests to Drop for Better Options.